Hello everybody, today we want to show you our project. The aim of the project is to create a control system that allows the bike to self-stabilize and maintain a strict trajectory. We are now introducing the hardware and software we used. This is the bike, built with the LEGO Mindstorm AV3 Education Kit, as you can see here. It includes one gyro sensor that provides the lean angular velocity, one ultrasonic sensor that can measure distances up to 250 centimeters, three motors, one medium motor for the steer, and two large motors, one for the kickstand and one for the motion drive. To design the control system and the 3D model, we used several programs. First of all, we created the control system using MATLAB and Simulink. After this, we used Lego Digital Designer to create the 3D model and the building instruction. We used LeoCAD to adapt the file format to open it on Autodesk 3D Studio Max that allows to create some hierarchies to act separately on each block. The control system was initially designed referring to a mathematical model representing the bike and simulated with Simulink. After this, it was applied on the actual bike. The motor bike behavior is modeled by the following equation from which we obtain the LTI state equation used to design the control system. To obtain the inertia matrices, it was necessary to determine the inertia of the four blocks front frame, front wheel, back frame and back wheel. We also estimated the motor parameter with some experiments. This is the simulating scheme used for the simulation of the model. Here there is the control system. Inside there is a linear quadratic regulator as controller and a Kalman filter as observer that reconstructs the state components that are not directly provided by the sensor. Above we have the bike and the sensor model, where the sensor resolution is modeled by a quantized block and the gyro offset is considered as band limited white noise. Back to the main scheme, we can see a 3D block that allows us to have a view of the bike's behavior. Clicking on the bike parameters, we can see the hierarchies previously created with 3D Studio Max. This is the simulation of the real bike. Here we can see the theta and the delta graphs. The green one is the delta from the sensor and in blue we have the Kalman reconstruction. Below there is the theta from the sensor and the second is the Kalman one. We create another scheme to implement the control system on the bike. As you can see we used the blocks from the simulating library to import data from the sensors and to control the duty cycle of the motor. We used three main subsystems. The first one called calibration is active for three seconds. During this time, we calibrate the gyro sensor to remove its offset. After this time, the control subsystem is enabled and it contains the same control system previously explained. Finally, the stop subsystem is enabled when we reach a specific time or if the ultrasonic sensor detects an obstacle closer than 40 cm. In the experiment displayed, the Sumilink scheme runs in external mode so we can acquire the data in real time. Here you can see an example where the ultrasonic sensor detects an obstacle and stops the bike. 